is understanding of what this fuel shortage means for the country. Have members of parliament failed Kenyans? Has the government failed Kenyans? And what is our role as Kenyans to ensure that we have this precious commodity on a daily basis? Gentlemen, once again, Asante Sana for joining us here on a KTN Newsline. But let me begin with uh, Karanja. Where is the fuel? That is the question that Kenyans are asking. Where is the fuel? Thank you. Thank you for that question. And it is good to start at that point because uh, the government is saying that uh, there is f enough fuel in the country even to take us for over 22 days. Uh, the, the, the KPC also confirmed that they have the products. Mm -hmm. But now the, the, big, the question is what is happening? Why not feed the Kenyans? Uh, I want to approach it uh, 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 from where I, I sit. Because if we believe what the government is saying, and we are supposed to believe, mm -hmm. we know. And actually, from the, the, uh, the, the practical uh, point of view, we are seeing a few trucks coming out with the fuel loading the fuel and taking it to the specific chosen petrol stations. Um, but it's not going out, they are not releasing it full blast, although the product is here. Two things here, uh, two, two things now uh, uh, comes to, uh, uh, I mean two questions comes to play. Because um, for us independents, I would, I, in fact, I just want to approach it from where we are. Mm -hmm. Because Kenyans are seeing it now for the last two weeks or so. It's been two weeks now. But for us who are in this business, started experiencing this thing a long time ago. Uh, we have always, within our circles, we have always complained that uh, uh, if we are not careful, the independence may, may just be suffocated and, 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 and pushed out. Mm -hmm. if, we, if we start talking about the product being in Kenya and we are not getting it, but it is going to Uganda, it is going to Rwanda, it is going to other places. It's, it's actually traversing Kenya to you. Yes. ESC. Yes, Countries. but here in Kenya uh, is not being, you know, supplied. Then it comes to, you know, confirm our fears mm -hmm. that it is a war against the independence. Right. Leave alone what other people are thinking mm -hmm. or what they are talking about. But we are there, we can see the trucks, a few trucks strategically, mm -hmm. like uh, this, today is Tuesday. They, uh, you, you go to the depots, early in the morning you find trucks, big trucks, mm -hmm. they're, they're lining up. Mm -hmm. At around 10, 11, they vanish. They have taken the product, they have gone. They, right. supply, they are supplying bits and bits. Mm -hmm. uh, but then after that, it is dry. All right. They are not letting us to get mm -hmm. the products. All right. So, Honorable Kero, Mr. Karanja brings in a very important point. It is not.